G'day guys. I'm Biggest Kev. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm back down the creek. I'm going to be doing some panning in this creek. It's a um, it's a gorge where I am. It goes down through two rocky outcrops. The water over millions of years has just carved its way through here. So um, that's what I'm doing today, guys. Panning in this creek and looking for gold. Okay, if you look on the other side of the creek, there's the water here. On the other side of the creek, there is a big rock pile. Big heap of rocks. They've been stacked up there. Behind those reeds, there's more rocks. It's just a big stack of rocks. That's on that side of the creek. And then on this side of the creek, I suppose you could call this the inside bend. And there's a lot of finds here. There's some rocks there. There's a few rocks in amongst it. But there's a lot of fine material. Now, um, I know the old timers, when they used to clean the creeks, creek out for the, for the gold, they used to take all the rocks out, stack them up on one side, and then they'd stack all the fine material on the other side of the creek. Like what's happened here, this is what it looks like to me. And then they would put a sluice in the creek. They would set a sluice down in the creek they do all this during the dry months when there's no water here, of course. And then when they have their next rains and they get the water running through, they'd set their sluice up and the fine material on, like this on this side of the bank, they would shovel that into the sluice and wash the gold. That's how they used to do it. So I'm thinking that the old timers have stripped all these rocks out and stacked them up over here. and maybe just maybe they've left some pay dirt behind for me on this side of the bank so that's what i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to do some test pans in this fine material on this side of the bank and just see how i go okay i've dug my first sample just here out of these these gravels there's the water there's the creek all the rocks on the other side and I've dug the fine gravels on this side and I'll pan them out. We'll see if we get any gold, guys.
Okay. Let's have a look. See if we can get a speck of gold. I can see shiny stuff in there, guys. Just up here in the black sand. I don't know if it's gold. I'm gonna have to look under my jewelers, Luke. I really want to find some decent specks. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to hang around this area, dig holes, sample, because all that work that those guys have done across the creek, all that rock work, they didn't move all that rock for nothing. They found something. Okay, I'll get back to you. Okay, I dug a couple of pans out of that, that hole just there, and I'll... I saw a couple of specks, but they're only really small specks. I could see them better with the jeweler's loop. Really fine specks of gold. And um, also, about half a dozen look like copper. Yeah, about six small pieces of copper. Native copper, I suppose it would be. Yeah. Check this out, guys. Can you see that? Looks like a specimen, doesn't it? But it's not. It's a Chris Lilly Rock of the Week. Okay. So I took a couple of samples out of there. Just back from the water, I've taken a couple of samples out of there. Just um, super fine gold and some copper, fine copper. And then I took a pan from over here. So there's your bedrock. At the bottom of the bedrock, I took a pan out of there. I didn't see anything. So I'm gonna take another pan from this, from this spot because I've hit the bedrock. Where my shovel is, I've more or less hit bedrock there. So I'll take a dig some more of this surface material away and I'll dig some of the um, material that's sitting on the bedrock and see if I do any better. Okay, so I've dug a sample out of there, a pan full, and I'm right on the bedrock there where the shovel's sitting. I'll set you up here. And you can watch me pan it out. Okay guys, let's see if we've got anything. What I've been doing, the um, the black sand that I'm catching at the end, at the end, when I pan out a, a pan of this material, I'm snuffering up and keeping it, 
and I'm taking it home and I'll put it under the microscope so you can see the, the gold and the copper a bit better. A lot of gravel in this pan guys. I don't know how we're going to go for gold though. I see some sparkly pieces here, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gold. Anyway, if there's gold there, it's really small, and uh, I can't see any. I want to get some pieces that we can see sitting in the pan. Okay, I'll do a few more pans in front of that bedrock, and we'll see how we go. Okay, I've just dug another pan. I've done a couple of pans actually from from that um, from the base of that bedrock, and I can see. Under my jewel's loop, I can see super fine pieces of gold, but they're really small. Really small. And I'll dug down right down to the bedrock. So if there's any, yeah, I can see little specks here. I think they, some of those might be gold. But really fine, guys. Yeah, really small. Okay, I'll keep going. Okay, here's another pan. Of, gee, I've, I've done about probably oh, 10 pans I suppose in this area and um, striking out in some spots and I'm just getting the the small smallest of specks microscopic specks that's all that's all I'm getting guys I can't find a speck that I can show you um, with the naked eye all I'm getting is fine little specks in some pans I'm getting fine microscopic specks of gold and also some some small pieces of copper yeah fine copper okay guys I'll get back to this okay I'll just show you down the creek so that wall of rocks starts here and you can see where they've just thrown all the rocks up on the bank all the big rocks and that would have, they would have come out of this creek. They would have done this in the dry season. And you see on this side, where they've heaped up the rocks on this side, but there's more fines, more fine material than big rocks on this side. So you can see all the rocks in there and the gravel, see it's all gravel in there. And then across here, we've got all the all the big material, all the big rocks are all in here. Just piled it all up in there. So I don't know. That just tells me that they've worked this creek. I'll just show you down here, following the creek along. Digging down in there, just before this rock bar, that would probably be a good spot. I tried digging in there, but man, there's big rocks in there and they're just like cemented in. So you follow the creek along, down over this, over these granites, and it goes all the way down through there, through that gorge. Way down through there. Anyway, I'm going to go up the top of this gorge and do some panning up the top. Okay, before I go up the top, I just thought I'd show you where I've dug along this, the bottom of this bedrock. 
So there's your bedrock. Comes down there, and I've dug there. And dug another hole there. Pulled some rocks out. And look at this, guys. See that? That's a quartz vein. That's a quartz vein coming up through the granite, through the granite outcrop. That's a big wide vein too, but it's um, it's a barren vein. You can see it's all white. There's not much mineralization in it, so that's not worth worrying about. And I'll come down the end down here, follow the bedrock bedrock along. I did another test hole there, but uh, yeah, I was getting nothing down this end. All the um, fine specks of gold that I was finding and the copper all seem to be down this end, down in these holes. I mean, these holes I got, I dug deeper. I actually dug down to the, I hit the either the bedrock or some compacted rocks down there. So maybe that's why I did better out of these holes because I got deeper down. Plus I've got some fine gold and copper out of these holes close to the water. Okay, the water comes down this way, it crosses the road, up, up above there's a road, and the creek crosses and washes down through this way, down over this bedrock, and if you look over around here, look at all this rock and gravel lying up on the, on the bank here. There's the bank along there, and there's the creek. Just over in here, that area has been worked. The old timers, they must have found a quartz vein in there or something, and they've ripped it all out. Big boulders here on the bank. The creek runs down that way. That goes down to where I just come from down into that gorge so the gold that's down in that gorge I'm thinking it's come from up top here and it's washed down now just over here where I've got my gear you can see how deep this gravel bar is that I'm standing on right now so there's the creek there Look at this gravel bar. Now this gravel bar goes all the way back there, down there, back down to the to the bottom of the road. And this has been washed here, oh, probably over, who knows, hundreds of years or whatever. It's all been washed down. Look how deep it is here. There's my shovel. That's how deep that gravel is, that deposit's been washed when they had big floods coming through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a few samples out of here. Uh, I'll dig from the bottom and yeah I'll just do a few pans and see what happens. Okay now this wall along here it's, it's granite but the old timers have worked this, they've pulled something out of there and uh, you can see all the rocks and there's piles of rocks all through here and I can tell by looking at it that they've, they've definitely worked it. They've probably blasted it and sheared off a vein. There's probably a quartz vein running through here that was mineralised so, and it possibly had gold in it. So um, I'd say it would have gold in it. That's why they did a bit of work here. Yeah. But what I've done, I've come back from where they were working and the base of this tree, I took a couple of panfuls of dirt out of there, panned it out, but nothing. Uh, and uh, 
you can see here this is probably their waste pile where I'm, where I'm standing on all these big rocks here and that's where they are working just there I picked up this piece of quartz because it's all rusty and this might have been part of the vein that they were they were chasing so I'll take this home and this will get crushed up eventually and I'll pan it out and yeah and just see if there's anything in that and, and if there is that means that that's the ore well that wasn't very good um, I've got the pan over there drying out so I'll run the um, microscope over it and just show you the fine gold and there was some fine copper in there as well guys so yeah but other than that no, no good um, I might have to go back to Rocky Creek excuse me and ha have a bit of a look around down there because I haven't been back and um, I did find some fine pieces of gold uh, as you saw in my one of my previous videos when I went to that at um, Rocky Creek so yeah I might have to go back there and have a bit of a look around and um, yeah see if I can get onto something uh, while it's, it's just coming to spring now here in Australia so I've only got a little bit a little bit of time left um, before all the creeks start drying out again so I need to get out there and do some more panning and uh, yeah otherwise it'll be just be back to hard rock and uh, and in saying that I've got some spots I want to go and check out some quartz veins so or actually reefs quartz reefs so I've got to go out there and check out anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting my channel cheers And it's a bit overcast today, but it, but it's it's warming up. When that sun comes through, yeah, it's got a bit of bite to it. Okay, guys, thanks again. Cheers. Stay safe out there. Take care. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.